Hi, my name is Dan and I am a coach at TBC Fitness. I also run a company called Laption Dan, which does fitness for kids aged 5 to 16. So what we're going to do today is we're going to run through a little bit of a hit. We're going to do 30 seconds on two movements, 20 seconds on the bow, and then 10 seconds on the bow. We're going to do it without any rest, and then we'll rest for a short period while I'll go over the next two. Okay? Let me run through the first two movements for you. So the first one is a press up. Ideally, hands under shoulders, core nice and tight, feet on the floor. Squeeze your stomach, bring your chest between your hands, and then push away. Making sure them elbows go back. If you're unable to do a full press up, drop to your knees and repeat the same way as you did for the full movement. Okay? And the second movement is a sit up. So you can either do it feet flat or feet together. You're going to come all the way back, reach back as far as you can. You're going to stretch the core and then come back and reach as far forward as you can. Back and then forward. So there are the first two movements going to run through. So 30 seconds of each. 20 seconds and then 10 seconds each, and then we'll take a rest. Okay? So if you're with me, we're going to go in three, two, one, let's go. So keeping that claw nice and tight, chest between your hands. If you start to fatigue, you can just drop your knees and then carry on. Three, two, and one. We're going to turn over into the sit ups now, which is as far back as you can, and as far forward as we can. So 30 seconds. So we're breathing out on the way up, and okay, in on the way back down. Okay, back up, changing straight into the press ups again. Core tight, down, and press. You want to stay nice and controlled on this one. Keep pushing, nearly there. Three, two, one. Change back round again into 20 seconds of full sit ups, reaching as far forward and far back as we can. Get that stretch in the core. Make sure you come back down nice and soft. Don't just go collapsing onto your back. Three, two, and one. Into 10 seconds last round on the press ups. Get as many as we can out. Two, one, change back over into them set ups again. Last little push. Three, two, and one. Well done, everyone. First one down. We're going to take about a minute rest now, and I'll go over the next two movements. So, the next two are squat jumps. So, place your feet about hip width apart, toes pointing out. You're going to squat down as low as you can, and then drive up. As you come down, we're going to land nice and softly into that squat before you come back up, okay? And then the second movement is mountain climber. So in that pressure position, hands under your shoulders, caught nice and tight. You're driving that knee towards your hands. If you're unable to do them, you can drop down and do a plank. Keeping that back straight, core tight, hold all the time, okay? So we're going to go squat for 30 seconds, bang bang for 30, 20 of each, and then 10 of each, alright? So 3, 2, 1, let's go. Use that arms, go as high as you can, land nice and soft. If that's too much, just drop down to a normal squat. Making sure your knees and toes are coming out. Keeping that chest up. Three, two, one. Straight into mountain climbers. Core nice and tight. Driving that knee towards the hand. If you want 
focus more on your obliques. Add a little bit of a twist in. So you're going opposite knee to elbow. But remember, you can drop down to the plank if you need to. Three, two, one. 20 seconds now. Squat jumps. Keep it going. You're going to start feeling that burn soon. Three, two, one. Woo. Mountain climbers, let's go. Make sure your hips aren't in the air. Keep them level, or slightly below your shoulders. Really focus on squeezing them out. Back up again. Last 10 seconds. Let's get as many as we can. Two, one. Back down again. Now if you want to pick the pace up for those mountain climbers, let's go. And one. Grab a drink if you need one, guys. Big deep breaths in as you rest. So the next two movements, the first one is going to be burpees. If you can do a full movement, plant your hands on the floor, chest to the floor, back up and jump. Ideally, that's the one we want to do. If not, hands drop and back up. Or if you can't do it even because of shoulder injuries, why don't you put your hands on a sofa or a chair and you can jump your feet in and out instead of going all the way down, okay? That's the first one. Second movement is a Russian twist. You need to keep your feet on the floor, lean back and twist around. Making sure your eyes are following your hands, shoulders and chest are twisting twist as well. Oh, you can bring your feet up makes it a little bit more difficult, okay? So the first movement is burpees. We're going to go in three, two, one. Let's go. So down and back up. That half body now. Let's push. If you're struggling with that jump, you can come down and then just stand back up. Last one. And then straight into the Russian twist. Heel on the floor or feet up. Follow your hands around. You just want to take your time with this movement. Test yourself by lifting your feet up. Perhaps you have a fire now. Go. Nearly there. Three, two, one. We're going straight back into the burpees again. 20 seconds. Big push on this, don't let me go. Stay with me. Three, two, one. Back down again. Russian twist. Control that breathing now. Let's get it back. In the through the nose. Out through the mouth. Nice and steady. Three, two, one. Last 10 seconds of both now. Up. Let's go. Give me three to four in this time. Finish your build brushing twist again. Three, two, and one. Woo. Short break again. Need another drink, let's get one. And then our last pairing is jump lunges and a single leg Romanian desert, okay? So the jump lunges, ideally, if you want to get into 90 degree angle and both legs, and we're coming down. Get your knee as close to the floor as possible when we do this. 
So keeping that chest up. Go. Okay. If you're struggling with that, then you're going to do reverse lunges. Coming back, chest up. Okay. Now if you're struggling with balance, if you watch me, I'm going to go straight back. Could lose it a little bit. So you can bring your knee out to the side. Just going to help keep you a little more stable, okay? And the next movement is a single leg RDL. So we'll split the time up into half each. Keeping that chest up. One leg. You're going to fire your hips back. Come down to the floor. Fight bend. Driving your hip through, okay? I just want you to take your time on them ones, okay? Regain your breath a little bit from the jump lunges. So, 30 seconds now of jump lunges. We're going to go in three, two, one. Let's go. Nice and light on your feet. Big push away from both feet as you come up. That's it. So, we're going to start burning on this one. Big drive now. Nearly there. Five seconds. Get a couple more. Three, two, one. So now we're going to go to 15 seconds each leg. RDLs. Chest up, hips back. Push. Should be on stretch coming down. Back of that leg. Take your time. And change legs. Very slight bend, squeeze from the top. Hold as we can keep your back straight, the chest up. Try and match the reps on both legs. Okay, now we're going straight back into them jump lunges. Keeping that chest up, back straight. Nice soft landing like you did, and then squat jumps. Nearly there. Three, two, one. This time it's going to be 10 seconds each leg. Try and get a three. Chest up, slight bend, come down, and back up. If you need to balance, do so. Doesn't matter as long as you're working that leg. Change legs. Take your time. Focus on pushing your heel through the floor, squeezing the back of the leg. Okay, last 10 seconds, let's go all out, as many as we can. Three, two, one. Regardless of the time, give me your three best single leg deadlift. So take your time on it, chest up, shoulders back. So last movement, come down, squeeze on the way back up. and relax guys that is us done thank you so much for your time with me today hope you enjoyed the workout and i'll see you soon take care